Assalamu alaikum. Let me tell you a true story about a young man named Malik. Even though he was a Muslim, he thought that life was all about satisfying his desires as much as possible. As a result, he felt extreme pleasure in committing many, many sins. He drank, he stole, and he even committed zina. Then he got married and had a daughter. He named her Fatima. Malik loved Fatima very much. As an innocent child, she would sit in his lap. And as Malik was about to sip some wine, she would hit his hand and the glass would go flying away. But because Malik loved her so much, he would never tell her off for doing this. Then one day, the unthinkable happened. Little Fatima died. Malik was completely shocked and devastated. He went into depression. He drank more than ever before. He drank and drank and drank to the point that he would be passed out day and night. One day in a drunken state, Malik went to sleep. He had a terrifying dream. The day of judgment had began. Lots of people had been resurrected. Then he heard a noise behind him. He turned back to see a huge snake chasing him. The snake's mouth was wide open and heading directly for him. He was terrified and tried to run away. But no matter where he went, the snake kept chasing him. Malik found an old man dressed in elegant clothes, smelling of perfume. He begged the man to save him from the snake. The old man said he was too old and too weak to help Malik against such a strong enemy. He advised him to keep running so that he might find help. So Malik carried on running wildly. He found a cliff and climbed it. Reaching the top, he saw the fire of Jahannam. He was on the pit of the hellfire. Then he heard a voice calling out loud, Go back, for you are not one of them. Malik turned around and ran in the opposite direction. The snake kept chasing him, and again he saw the old man. Again he begged him for help, but the old man began to cry and said he was too weak to help Malik. But he advised Malik to go to a hill nearby. Malik ran to the hill. There he found lots of children with faces bright as the full moon. The snake had almost caught him. At that moment, Malik saw his daughter Fatima amongst the children. With her right hand, she pointed to the snake to go away. The snake left immediately. Then Fatima sat in Malik's lap and recited a verse of the Quran. She said, My dear father, has the time not come for the believers that their hearts should become humbly submissive at the remembrance of Allah and what has come down of the truth? Malik was moved to tears. He asked her what the snake was. Fatima told him that it was his evil deeds, which he had made so strong that they were about to push him into Jahannam. Then Malik asked her who the old man was. Fatima told him that it was his good deeds, but he had made them so weak that they couldn't help Malik against the snake. Malik woke up from the dream in tears. He immediately made wudu and ran to the masjid. During the prayer, the Imam happened to recite the same verse from the Qur'an. Has the time not come for the believers that their hearts should become humbly submissive at the remembrance of Allah and what has come down of the truth? Malik thought, it is time. He felt massive regret for his past sins and repented to Allah. That day was the start of Malik's new life. This was the story of Malik ibn Dinar. May Allah have mercy on him. He became an Imam of Hadith and is now known as one of the most righteous successors of the Sahaba. In the middle of the night, he would go to the center of town and shout out, O oh people, wake up to the remembrance of your Lord. Wake up to success. When he did this, people would think he was crazy. But he did this because he knew that ultimate success lies with Allah. He completely transformed from a person who committed every sin under the sun to one of the most pious worshippers in history. He went from being a person who was literally on the brink of hellfire to someone who will enter Jannah insha'Allah. So the question is, 
what exactly is it about us that leads us to our destiny? What was leading Malik on the path to Jahannam? Allah Himself gives us the answer in the Quran. It says, And you have not been hiding yourselves in the world, lest your ears and your eyes and your skins should testify against you. But you thought that Allah knew not much of what you were doing. And that thought of yours, which you thought about your Lord, has brought you to destruction. And you have become this day of those utterly lost. It all starts with our thoughts, our mindset. When Malik had destructive thoughts, this caused him to have destructive feelings. So he took destructive actions and was going towards an eternal destiny of destruction. But when Malik's mindset shifted to successful thoughts, his feelings and actions and destiny also became successful. Now think about your mindset. Is it empowering you and leading you to success? If not, chances are you're stuck in a certain mindset with disempowering patterns. If you want success in your life and your destiny inshallah, then you need to have a breakthrough in your mindset. Our next video is all about breakthroughs and we'll tell you more inshallah. Jazakallah khair for watching. I hope you found this video beneficial. If you did, you can do two things to continue your mastery journey. Firstly, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking here. When you subscribe, you'll get regular videos that will help you achieve breakthroughs in your life inshallah. Secondly, you can join the online mastery group by clicking the link in the description. When you join, we will send you inspirational emails, reminders, podcasts, updates and free resources that you won't receive on the channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next video inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.